All right, my dudes, welcome back. This is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude, back with another fragrance video. Before I get into the video, as always, if you have not and you do like my content, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications. Always helps out my channel and it only takes a minute. So again, in this video, I'm gonna be doing my first impressions of a fragrance that you guys chose me uh, for me to buy. What I do, if you're new to my channel, once a month, I ask you what fragrances to pick up. And then the you guys pretty much tell me each one, you pretty much vote on it, and then I pick up three to five fragrances that you choose. This month, the top rated one, and one that it's been mentioned quite a, for pretty much every month that I've asked, is by the House of Offnon. It is 9 p.m., which again, they are more of a clone house, and this is a clone or a close enough interpretation to Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramol, which is really one of my favorite fall and winter time fragrances. So yeah, I'm not reviewing this in the right time frame as far as what season it's supposed to be worn. But with that said, I don't really care. You guys chose it, and so I'm going to be reviewing that in this video. So again, this is the box, off and on 9 p.m. I'm not gonna really go over the whole box presentation. It's just a basic box. And then, let's see, it's a Eau de Parfum 100 milliliter 3.4 ounce. Let's see what the bottle looks like. I know the Supremacy bottles from Offnon are really nice, and it seems like it's not that much different with the 9 p.m. Hefty bottle, nice looking cap. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be one of those caps that you pick up. Oh, and it's magnetized slightly. Not crazy magnetized, but um, yeah, it's a hefty bottle. Really nice. Off not 9 p.m. Almost reminds me of something that you would get at like the Gap or something like as far as like what it looks like on the front. But it's not about the uh, what the fragrance looks like. It's about how it smells. So I'm going to be spraying a lot of different fragrances and I already have a niche fragrance on me. So I'm going to spray this on a tester. And then while I let that dry down, I'm also going to spray Ultramol on a tester. But with that said, I can tell you, the off and on 9 p.m., the atomizer is actually better than the Jean-Paul Gaultier, just based on the way that I just sprayed those. And so I'm gonna give you the note breakdown here to let you guys know what this fragrance is all about. Um, so it's advertised as a woody, sweet, ambery, warm, and spicy fragrance. And the main notes here are apple, cinnamon, wild lavender, and bergamot in the top. The mid notes are orange blossom and lily of the valley. And the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and patchouli. All right, so again, I sprayed the Ultramol on this one, and I sprayed the 9 p.m. on this one. So we're going to see what the differences here are. I'm actually really excited for this. Okay, so that's the 9 p.m. That's really nice. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell there is a definite similarity to the two. There's a major difference though in the Ultramol. It is deeper, it's heavier, it's thicker. Um, it gives you a larger fall vibe for sure. Even though it does smell very similar, you can already tell there's a little bit of a lightness and a little bit more of a freshness to the 9 p.m. than there is. Still saying this is more of a fall and winter time fragrance, not saying that. It's definitely a fall and winter time fragrance, but it lightens it up enough to where you might be able to wear it in the spring nights and maybe the uh, not as hot summer nights. So this is actually really nice. Very close. Uh, I do know, so uh, if you guys don't know, the Ultramol is taking the Lamal DNA, it spices it up, it gives it uh, a little bit more depth and then you get this really nice beautiful pear note. So I can already tell that you do not get the pear note in the top of uh, often on 9 p.m. And so what I'm guessing and what it smells like is a mixture, almost a muddled mixture of apple, cinnamon, and bergamot right in the opening, which is the bergamot's giving it this sweet citrus, which provides a, a little bit of a freshness, like I said, but the apple is really the main note here. Yeah. But all in all, if I'm just nitpicking here, they're very, very close. Uh, so I still would prefer, obviously, the Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol. But to be honest with you, there are certain times that I might prefer this. Like I said, if I'm looking for something close to the Ultramol, but in the spring or the not as hot days or not as hot nights in the summer, I might be able to go with 9 p.m., which is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to put the Ultramol away for a second and just let you know more about this. 
That pear obviously is a difference. You get a lot of amber in here. I'm not quite getting the tonka bean or the vanilla. I am getting a little bit of orange blossom, but it's not really that florally. It's more of just a background sweetener. Um, again, freshens it up a little bit, but for the most part, you're getting that apple, that bergamot. The bergamot's just sweet, not citrusy. Really good. So overall, this, again, this is off 9, 9 p.m. I'll again show you the atomizer. It's actually really smooth and really nice. Uh, it gets a large layer of area, so it's one. This bottle is actually really, really nice. The fragrance is really good. I'm really interested to see how long this actually lasts. I'm really excited to add this to my collection. Even though I have Ultramol, it would be nice to switch it up. If maybe I wanted to get a little slight bit of a different take on the DNA, because while this is close, Again, there is a bit of a difference here, um, not a crazy noticeable difference, and to the average nose, probably wouldn't be able to notice at all. But overall, it's a really nice, really nice pickup. As it's drying down, it's actually getting even closer. You can still tell the depth of the Lamal or the Ultramal over the off and on, but it, as it's drying down, it's getting even closer. You are getting a little bit of tonka bean and a little bit more amber coming in there as well. But really overall, it's really great. I'm going to give you guys about five minutes and then I'm going to come back or maybe 10 minutes, let you know if there's any change in this. So I'll be right back. All right, my friends. So it's been about 15 minutes. And so now that we're back, I'm going to tell you what I get after 15 minutes of the off non 9 p.m. versus the Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol. Again, as it is a clone in the opening, uh, the only difference really was a little bit more freshness in here, as well as the, I like this because it's a little bit more deeper and you get that pear, even though they do this apple bergamot mixture that makes it feel similar to the pear. So it's very similar in the opening. This might be a little bit fresher. This is a little bit deeper, depending on what you like. They're very similar and this is very well done. Uh, here after 15 minutes, is there much of a difference? With this one, yes, you can see that there is that uh, vanilla coming in, that lavender's mix mixing in there, uh, as the Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol DNA is really good at doing. Now, the off and on 9 p.m. so far in the opening 15 minutes, it's pretty much very linear from the opening. A normal nose isn't gonna see much of a difference. But what I can tell is there's a little bit more amber coming out, a little bit of vanilla and tonka bean as well, maybe a little bit of a woody aromatic. But other than that, the bergamot is just dissipating just a bit. Uh, maybe this is one of those fragrances that takes a little bit more of a time to uh, kind of dry down and get through the mid into the dry down because I'm, again, I'm not noticing much of a difference. But I can tell you as far as performance, this one seems to actually project a bit more than the Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol, just based off the tester. And then I sprayed it on my wrist after as well and sprayed the Ultramol on my right wrist just to see if there was a bit of a difference. And again, the Ultramol is a bit deeper and it's already a good performer itself. It just seems if I had to pick one that projects a little bit better than the other one in the opening 15 minutes, the 9 p.m. is the one to do it. We'll see how it lasts. Once I do my full review, if it lasts as long as the Ultramol, longer, if it projects higher throughout the entirety of the fragrance, I'm not sure. But I am really excited that I picked this up. So thank you to all of you guys for choosing this as my uh, fragrance to pick up this month. I also have Yopa Om Ice and a few others to go over with you guys. But as far as giving this a score, I, as you guys know, this is one of my favorite fall and wintertime fragrances. I'd give it a 9 to a 9.5. 9 p.m. is going to be just a route around there. I'd maybe subtract a couple uh, decimal points, and so I'd give it maybe like an 8.8 .8 or 8.9. But again, I haven't even got to the dry down yet, so I will have to let you guys know that. Very good fragrance. Definitely worth a look if you guys are in the market for a fall and wintertime fragrance at this point in time. So again, this is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. I appreciate you guys joining me again. Let me know below if you've tried this fragrance, what you think about it. And if not, always like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one. Peace.